This is a video update on weight and the lifter can support weight. This time I have the lifter tethered and right here is just a stick with an old uh, computer fan. I cut out a little disc motor, rotor, just for the weight. I'll most likely have to help it be in the, the center but it'll actually lift up with the weight. You can see it's actually holding up the stick with the motor. It's not perfectly balanced and centered, so that's why it's actually all over the place. Okay, as for the power supply, like I said, I'm using these miniaturized flybacks so this is it right here I'll disconnect it so you can actually see it now I'm trying to get shocked You'll be able to see the arcs that this pulls out. And all that is just from this little guy right here. Sometimes I notice when I was running it, it would actually arc sometimes from the secondary to the primary. That, I don't know why, but it was doing it. So, make sure I disconnect the battery. And actually something I noticed was when I was running on my six stage output of the multiplier, the eight stage was actually having some corona discharge. So that's why you actually hear the hissing. So I actually put some dielectric grease on it to see if that can actually help to quiet it. Still with the stick. Pulse the weight of the stick. takes off with the stick on. Now, something I noticed was I built a smaller one, see the size, but the actual distance of the wires, I actually had to have it higher. So it was actually arcing 
about maybe 125, 150,000 volts. So I had to raise it up even higher. But with this design, I think because it has more aluminum, so it has more mass to spread out the high voltage across it in the electrostatic field. Because then I built another one. So I have this one here, and then I have this one here. This one's about four inches. This one's about six inches. And like I said, this one is 20 inches long. But yeah, I would still have to raise the wire up higher. Now, someone put in the comments to use more of a thin wire on the emitter. So I did find some. I actually have these old transformer flybacks with this coil is really tiny. And I wrapped it around, I turned it on, it did lift up, but I guess the power was just so high, it actually burnt the wire. So, like I said though, it's still testing phase, you know, to figure out what I need to do. So, like I said, this is a little small PC fan. I took the blade off, took the housing off, and just glued it on a stick. Actually, when I was running it, this could actually spin when I hooked it to the battery, but the electrostatic field was actually going through it and burnt out the motor. So this, I can't even use no more. But it doesn't matter, this is just testing it for weight anyway. All right, that's it for now.